Hey guys, what's up? Paul here. Welcome back to Hub City Drones and Gadgets. Thanks for stopping by and checking out the channel, you guys. Remember, hit that subscribe and that notify button so you don't miss any of our upcoming drone and gadget review videos. Today, you guys, we are going to check out Atops x pack 3 foldable mini drone you guys this little drone is an absolute blast to fly and it is loaded with all kinds of features as well it has a 1080p hd camera on it two speeds one key takeoff and land it even has headless mode and it does a super cool 360 degree flip voice and gesture control but the one feature i absolutely love about this little dude put him in your hand toss him up in the air and he just starts to fly it is super cool to do the price super cool as well you guys right now on amazon right around 50 bucks but check this out atop once again hooked my viewers up and they sent me an additional x pack 3 to give to one of you guys so if you want to win this little dude all you got to do just leave me a comment on this video and like the video and i'll go ahead and pick a subscriber here in about a week and i'm going to send you that drone absolutely free you're going to want it because it is super fun to fly you guys the link as always is down in the description but before you go click the link and get you one of these little dudes let's go unbox it and check it all out show you guys how to set it up it's really easy to do then we're going to put them up in my drone arena aka my wife's living room and we're going to give it a test flight and see what this little dude can do let's go All right, guys, what do you say we get this little dude out of the box so we can check everything out? This is the box that it comes in. Pretty cool box. Got a picture of the drone on the front. Modular battery here. Shows you that it's foldable. And we have in gold writing, X-Pack 3. Discover the new world. Super cool. QR code right here. Hurry up, scan it. I'm only going to hold it here for a minute. But if you scan this, you can get some additional assistance. And it says an extended warranty. So that is pretty cool. Backside of the box. Just has some details on the box and then of course the drone and a transparency QR code there. Let's get this dude out of here. I want to check him out. This is going to be cool, guys. Let's go. Oh, there everything is. All right, we're going to get this out of our way here. Oh, there's our goodie bag right on the bottom and our manual right on the top. There's a manual, guys. I say it all the time, I can't say it enough, always read your manual, everything you need to know about this little dude is in the manual. You can see here you have the QR code again for assistance and your extended warranty. Down here you have their website address and customer support email at support at atoptoys.com. Inside, great illustrations in this manual, I was really impressed by all the illustrations in here, everything is really well laid out, drawn step-by-step step how to do any everything from your 360 degree stunts to the return home feature the throw to fly feature everything's in here read your manuals guys you know what i always say it don't be a drone dummy let's get into our accessories here i like to call our goodie bag so i'm just gonna dump everything out right here Ooh, get that out of our way so what do we got in here check it all out you guys so it looks like we get not quite a full set of propellers but you do get one b and one a replacement if you don't know already there is a difference between the a and b propeller you actually have an a and b arm on the drone and i will show you which one is which when we get this dude out of the box but here's your replacement blade you get one of each so i would recommend using the four drone training wheels that you get there are four of them one for each arm yes i call them drone training wheels i just think it sounds a lot better than propeller guard but anyway these are your propeller guards they just pop right on i'll show you that when we set it up protects your propellers and it protects stuff that you might run into wall 
uh, your wife's expensive collectibles the propeller won't hit it it won't break it these are rather small propellers so chances are it wouldn't do a whole lot of damage but it could do enough damage that the wife will uh put you in the doghouse for a couple of days been there done that for those then check this high tech drone propeller removal tool out it is actually a white miniature phillips head screwdriver this is to take your propellers on and off you can also use this to tighten up the screws on your drone i would do it every so many months or so they do tend to vibrate loose sometimes so but you can use this to do your drone maintenance with then we get check this out they actually send you three triple a batteries for your controller super cool that they do that most everyone else eh, get your own batteries they what? don't worry about it not a top they actually send you three triple a batteries that's awesome then we have our usb charging cable you do have to use the cable it comes with it does have that little special connector there on the end that goes into the battery when you're charging it you'll have a red light here and it will turn green when your battery is fully charged we'll get into that here right now because we actually get two let me get this off of here check this out we get two batteries i'm going to take this one out of the package if i can figure out how it opens just to take it out they are exactly the same but we get to 3.7 volt 500 m a h lipo modular drone engines you can charge these with the charger using a five volt charger box and it's real simple you just take the tip here and they just plug right into the back here like so and you charge it again five volt two amp charger box don't go over that you guys you risk a chance of ruining this battery you can make it swell explode all that other good stuff charge time for each battery 90 minutes so hour and a half for each battery which isn't too bad honestly and you'll get anywhere from eight to nine minutes of flight time depending on how many of those really cool 360 degree flips that you do but super cool we get two of those so you get close to 20 minutes of flight time with both batteries that's pretty awesome all right we're going to check out our controller i really like this controller and i'm going to show you why here in just a minute very well made it's lightweight this is actually one of the antennas for the uh drone uh, off the controller which is really cool they're really not this one's decoration this one's an actual working antenna on the front we have the joysticks the movement on them are really well they don't stick or drag they move really good we have our power button here this button here is our one key takeoff and land if you long press this button you guys the drone is going to plummet out of the sky that is your emergency stop button over here we have our headless mode one click headless mode if this is really a cool feature for a non-gps drone if you long press this the drone is actually going to return to home unlike a gps drone you guys it's not going to come over and land where it took off from but what it's going to do is it's going to head straight back to where you have this controller that's a really cool feature on this thing on the top our speed button it is a two speed uh, drone then over here we have our cool 360 degree flip and we'll show you i'll show you this when we test this dude out this is so fun to do just press it push the joystick your right joystick in whatever direction you want that drone to flip the thing i really really like about this controller is on the back check this out on the back is actually our picture and video buttons are right here so when you're holding it and you're flying and you want to record or take a picture you just got to press it with your back finger here you're not trying to go up to the top to press record which they're normally up here or you're long pressing it to record short pressing it for photo you get the idea we have the wool v i guess that's how you say it or volvi not sure if that's a w or a v i haven't figured that part out yet but anywho our batteries go right here in the back course you just slip that off and oh look at that i already have batteries in it and that's it that is our controller you guys really simply laid out super easy for uh, kids and adults to fly then you have your cell phone holder and this is really simple you guys all this does is it just pops into here like so and you're going to slide it in and it'll lock in once you get it in place and check it out your cell phone holder then you just open it up 
pop your phone in here and you're good to go it's got some padding in it which is really cool it's not really adjustable it just has the spring it's kind of like a duck bill cell phone holder that i call them but it's on there it does stretch open pretty wide so it would hold a pretty decent sized cell phone so that's cool too but that's our controller time for the star of our show you guys here we go this dude is so cool looking you guys let's check him out get all this out of our way oh. this is our x pack 3 mini drone check him out very cool looking i like the way the arms lock into place they actually have a couple little pops to get it to where they need to go which is really cool i like that keep them open um, usually even if you run into something they will pretty much stay open which is super cool and you can see here we do have hinged propellers which is really awesome there's our motor in here they are a 7 by 20 brushed motor the weight on this little dude 73 grams or 2.57 ounces so you do not have to register with the FAA naturally the range on this little dude is 50 meters or 164 feet our fpv range is 30 to 40 meters or right around 98 to 134 feet that will all again depend on any interference wi-fi cell phones walls trees all that stuff like that gets in the way it will shorten that range but this thing is super cool looking you guys check this dude out i like the design and the color it's kind of like a blue that's really cool we have our power button here on the front on the bottom you just have some breather vents for your motors and the drone itself on the back is our battery slot and you just slide your drone engine in like so there's a little notch here you know that goes on the bottom and pop it in there's your battery cool we have an led light on the back and two led lights on the front and check this out boom very cool kind of looks like iron man eyeballs there sort of that's pretty neat and you have your one on the back your indicator tells you what it's doing what it's not doing oh and check that out the power button lights up too that's pretty damn cool i like that that's pretty neat turn them off on the front is our 1080p hd fpv camera non-adjustable all your pictures and videos will be stored in your cell phone but that, you guys, is our XPAT 3 foldable mini drone. Check that dude out. Just give you a whole 360 degree look on this dude. Very, very cool. Oh, I can't wait to fly this dude. This is awesome. I'm, I'm really liking this drone so far. The design and everything is super cool. And the feel, I don't want to leave that out because it actually is some really decent feeling plastic on here. It's not even pushing in when i push on it so that's cool it's very well made the motors are protected really well also so that is very cool but anyway that is our unboxing you guys that's everything that you get with this little dude now we're going to set him up i'll show you guys how to pair the controller do the gyro calibration unlock the motors and then we'll go over the app and all that good stuff real quick then we're going to put this little dude up in my living room and we're going to check him out and see what he can do All right, let's get this little dude set up so we can give him a test flight and check him out and see what he can do. First thing I'm going to do is show you guys how to put on your drone training wheels, aka propeller guards. I have three of them on already. They actually are pretty easy to go on and they go on really well. I'm really surprised at how well they snap on here and stay in place. So your training wheel, what you're going to do is there's a little notch right here. If you guys can see that right there. There's a little notch. This is actually going to go over the arm of the drone and you're just going to pop it on like so. And I found it's easier to go lower because if you can see the arm kind of thins out. So it goes on a little easier that way. Then you're just going to take this dude and slide it up like so. And then you're going to push up on your propeller guard. There's a little snap here that will snap into place. And you can see here. It is attached really well make sure your bottom part is on as well this back part here make sure these two latches here 
clip onto the arm. See those two right there? They clip right over the arm, which is cool because they're on there really good. They won't come off. I really like that. A lot of times you get these propeller guards, you put them on, they just kind of slide on. But then when you hit something, they actually fall off the drone. I do not believe these are going to fall off of our drone. Be careful not to break or uh, manipulate your propellers when you're doing it. It's probably best to just leave them hanging down and go from behind like I just did. But this is how big this little dude is with the propeller guards on it. Check that out, you guys. He's actually pretty dang big. Pretty cool. Still small enough to fly around in your living room, though, which is what we're going to do after we get him set up. And we're going to do that right now. So the first thing I'm going to show you guys to do is connect your controller to your drone. We're going to pair the drone and the controller together. Really easy to do. Power on your drone. We have our LED light there is blinking red and green. Then you're going to power on your controller, long press it, that LED is now blinking red. All you're going to do is take your left joystick and you're going to go up and then back with it. Go fast, you can go slow, it doesn't matter the speed, but you're going to go up and back. Our LED on our drone is solid and now the LED on our controller is also solid. We're paired. All right. Now let's calibrate this little dude. There is no compass calibration. Remember, it's not a GPS drone. It's just a little mini drone. But you got to calibrate your gyros. Simple to do. You want to make sure you always calibrate your gyros on a flat level surface. And I would absolutely recommend doing a gyro calibration anytime you change the battery or if you crash the drone. Remember, this is just an altitude hold drone. It does have some trimming that will need, uh, need to be done to keep him on a steady hover. So when you do the gyro calibration, that will absolutely help uh, with that steady hover. Easy to do. Again, you're going to take both joysticks this time, and you're just going to go down and in with them. The lights on your drone, I'm going to get them a little closer here so you can see those lights, are going to blink really quick, and then they will stop. So down and in, just like so. They blinked real quick. Now they're solid again. Our gyros are now calibrated. So to unlock the motors on this drone, there is no motor unlock button. You can do the one key takeoff. When you do this, just note that the motors will unlock and he will lift up in the air. So, but to just unlock the motors, all you're gonna do is take your left joystick and you're gonna push it up. Let me see if I can make room here without hitting my hands. You're gonna push it up and let it go. Don't hold it up, just push it up and let it go. Check it out not bad sounding motors they're not really loud i'm sure they'll get a little bit louder when we get it up in the air but they sound really powerful which is super cool you can see there it'll shut off in about 10 15 seconds or so if you don't do anything that's a battery save feature the drone and the controller also both have a battery save feature built into them if you don't do anything with the drone it will power itself off i want to say it stays on for like two minutes maybe right in that range and then it will just shut off your controller the same way it'll actually make a couple beeping sounds and then it will shut off too those are just to save your battery if it does that you have to power your drone and your controller on and repair them and you're good to go we're set up you guys that's really all there is to setting this little dude up now let's jump into the app and let's check the app out so it is the wfpv app right there on the screen and it is free on google play in the app store of course and there's a QR code in the manual as well that you can scan that'll take you right to that app. If you can't scan it, again, just search for it, WFPV. And now we're going to connect to the drone's Wi-Fi signal. So this little dude is omitting a Wi-Fi signal, you guys. It's not internet. A lot of people get confused with that. You do not need an internet connection or an internet provider. You actually don't even need a cell phone provider to connect to the drone's Wi-Fi signal and fly the drone through the app. All you need is a drone phone, one that's capable of connecting to a Wi-Fi signal, phone or a tablet, both will work. Just remember, a tablet will not fit in the cell phone holder up here. So, but you could use it, definitely could use it. All right, let's connect to the drone's Wi-Fi. Okay, so go to wherever your Wi-Fi settings are on your phone. Uh, they all the phones have it Android uh, Apple. They all have a Wi-Fi setting somewhere in your phone Wait for your available networks to refresh 
scroll through it and you'll see right here kind of in the middle of ours is XPAC 3 3E7850. Those numbers will be different for each drone. Tap on it. It's going to connect. It'll check the quality of your internet. The first time you do this, you may get a pop-up, guys, uh, telling you you're connected with no internet, and it'll ask you if you want to keep the Wi-Fi connection or switch to cellular data. Keep the Wi-Fi connection. Another thing to keep in mind, if for some reason your drone uh, will not connect to the Wi-Fi signal or you connect it and you don't have picture through your camera, try putting your phone into airplane mode. That should 99.9% .9 of the time will fix that problem. It's really easy to do, but a lot of times for whatever reason it is, uh, some people connect their drone and they have no camera picture uh, for the FPV. If you switch it to airplane mode, it's usually a fixed done deal. So always try that before you go freaking out that your drone is broken. We are connected. Now we're going to open up our app. Remember WFPV app? Let's open the app. We'll go through it and I'll show you guys some of the settings and what all the little icons and all that on the app mean. It's actually a really cool app. Okay, so here is the main screen or home screen of our app. When you open it, you can see there it's got the app logo in the middle, the WFPV. Up at the top, your help button. This actually opens up a little mini menu of the uh, app. It tells you what everything stands for. It's all numbered so you know what all the icons mean. Over to the right, you have your languages. You have Chinese and you have English. I fly mine in Chinese. It's so what? much easier to read. No, I'm kidding. It's actually super hard to read unless you know what you're doing. I hit English and that's what we're going to do. And it brings us to our second page of our app. This is the page that lists all the different drones that use this app for their FPV and to fly. You can see there are several of them. Ours, again, x 3 that's what we want. Down at the very bottom of your gallery, if you open this up, this will show you all your photos and videos that you've taken. It, it also will create an album in your phone's album as well, and your pictures will be there device we're going to go back the learn more down here you can tap that learn more and it just again it will open up that three page uh, quick start guide on the app we're going to hit connect device we should have picture oh and look at that we do we have picture and look at this guy remember 1080p and it's a true 1080p camera on this drone a lot of times they say that and it's not that's for picture but check this out that is a really clear picture not bad at all Pretty impressed with this camera so far. All right, we're gonna go through the app. Remember our drone may shut off. If it does, I'm gonna keep going so we can get through this and get this dude in the air. Up at the top, your first icon here on the top left, that is your gesture control. If you tap that, it will highlight it. You can do a peace sign, will take your picture, and a high five will start recording video. That is with the camera of the drone facing you. It's a really cool selfie feature that they've added to the drone, super fun to do. The next one, this music one, this is really cool, you guys. When you open this up, the top left, it says click to select music. So check this out. We're going to click it. Down at the bottom is a list of several different short clips of music. And we'll just tap one. Oh, I got rid of it. Where'd it go? There it goes. We'll just tap one. We'll do the first one and see what it sounds like. But when you do this, you can go through all of them. And some of them are actually really cool. But pick your music, hit the record button right here. And you can see here it starts to record with the music in the background. Super cool video effect it has on it. When you're done, you can hit stop, hit X to get out of it. Really fun to do. I have a couple of bigger drones uh, that you can fly outside that do this. And it's a really cool video effect. All right, our next one, this one, I'm not sure why it's here and what you would use it for, but when you tap it, it actually, <laughs> look at that, it flips your camera upside down. Check it out. So if you like to fly your mini drone on your head or hang upside down in a tree, that would probably be a good uh, feature to have. I fly mine standing upright. I have a hard enough time doing it that way. The next one with the 30%, that is your speed all the way up to 100%. You have your 360 degree flip. When you tap this, you just tap the joystick that will be here on the screen here in a minute. Like you do the controller and the drone will flip in whatever direction. Next one, that is your headless mode. 
we're going to jump all the way over here to the uh, right real quick you have your video and your camera buttons right here self-explanatory the one above that this little circle with the arrows on it if you tap this this is more or less the on and off button for your joysticks your trim and your other two features that popped up up here on the top back to the top next to your headless mode the one with the cell phone this is your gravity control pretty cool hard to do for me but pretty fun to do what you do here is you just tilt your phone you can see my joystick moving i'm actually tilting my phone forward and backward right now and you can go left and right as far as raising and lowering the drone and turning it left and right you have to do that by hand but you can make the drone go forward backwards and all left and right just by tilting your phone really fun to do click it it'll take you out of there the next one this is your trace to fly all you got to do is tap that your right joystick goes away and you get this black box right here and you're just going to draw a pattern yeah i'd probably crash the damn drone if i drew a pattern like that for real but look at that the drone follows whatever pattern you draw keep in mind start out slow you guys until you figure out how big of a pattern it's actually going to fly in uh, first time i did this i just drew a big circle on it and i can't tell you how many times that drone hit the wall not this drone but a drone so start out small so you're not crashing in any of your wife's expensive stuff wouldn't be a good thing next one this is your voice control if you tap that you can see around the screen now we have voice commands and you can tell it to fly land uh, forward backwards left and right all you do is speak that into the app and the drone will respond to it really fun to do and it usually works really well we'll try it out when we get the drone up and fly it next is your vr mode that will split the screen so you can put vr goggles on and you can fly the drone like you're sitting in the drone's cockpit super cool i do believe our drone has shut off on us so we have no drone power right now but we're going to keep going the home button that one of course will take you back to the home screen we already went over these down here on the right so we're going to jump into the middle of course you have your joysticks right here you can slide your fingers or you can tap the little icons here above the joysticks the blue lines this is your trim so you can see here you can trim your drone forward backward left and right trim really cool easy to do all the way to the left you guys this bottom one that looks like a target uh, sight on a gun <laughs> this is your return to home when you tap this the drone actually has a return to home feature it's not GPS return to home so it's not going to come back to you and land where it took off from what it's going to do it's kind of just an instant reverse button and the drone's going to fly backwards to you where the controller is keep in mind when it gets to you you have to hit the joystick right joystick forward or he's going to keep going i'll show it to you guys when we test fly it next one of course that's your one key land and your one key takeoff you guys that is the app that oh there went the controller you heard it it beeped and it shut off that was perfect timing anyway guys we're set up that's the app we're good to go let's go get this little dude in the air and check him out All right, guys, let's get this little dude in the air. This is a Top X Pack 3 mini drone. We'll get him up, go to the speed, show you the flips, and we'll check out the camera. But here we go. I'm going to push the controller joystick forward. Oh, we have power. Here we go. Nice takeoff. Not bad on the trim either. It actually really doesn't need any trim. That's pretty impressive. Usually you get him up, you got to trim him a little bit. But that's actually not bad, you guys. Let me get him over here. You guys can check him out a little bit. Check this dude out, you guys. <laughs> those, those LED lights on the front are super cool, you guys. Check that out. Great sound of motors. It is a little louder now that we have it in the air. But look at him. Just The altitude holds great on this little dude. All right, I'm going to bring him over here. Because I want to do the flips real quick before our battery gets too low. And then we'll check out the speed. But I really want to check out. Let me trim him just a little bit. Looks like he might be off just a tad. All right. You guys ready? Here we go. Flip number one. Oh, that was awesome. He did it great. That was cool. 
I know it was quick, so in case you blink, let's do another one and check it out. Ooh, look at that. And check it out. He's just right up there. Maybe a little bit of trim after that, but not bad, actually. Not bad at all. All right, I'm going to trim up just a little bit more before we get going here. That should be pretty good. All right, let's see. All right, here we go. All right, speed one. We are now in speed one. I just want to make sure. So here we go. Speed one. Nice speed. That's not bad at all. That's actually pretty good for speed one. All right, speed two. Give myself some room. Here we go. Oh, speed two is quick. Oh, and he turns really good on speed two, too. Look at that turn. That's awesome. All right, I'm going to get him over here because I know speed three is going to be really fast. And I'm just going to try to do a couple of flybys so you guys can get a sense of speed three. But I don't have a whole lot of room in here to do the third speed. But here we go. Speed three. Oh, look at that. Oh, he does turn really good on speed three, too, though. He turns quick. Look at that. <laughs> oh, that little dude is awesome. All right, I get him free. Get him out of speed three before I wreck him. All right, I'm going to show you guys this camera. Check this camera out, you guys. It's not bad for a mini drone. It's pretty clear. It is shaky, but remember, not a gimbal or anything. Back him up here a little bit so you can see a little bit better, but not bad at all. <laughs> That's awesome. Cool little mini drone. Super fun to fly. He's really easy to fly, too. I like the way he turns and he handles. Does the flips great. I just love those LED lights on the front, too. It makes them look pretty dang cool, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Climb around here. See what our battery life lasts. We still got a battery. It's not blinking. Remember, the controller will beep. And the lights on the drone will blink when our battery gets low. But check that out. You get plenty of flight time. This is cool. Check that out, a little red LED light on the top there. Well, I can feel the wind coming off the bottom of these motors. There's great motors on him. All right, I was going to fly him around until the battery goes dead, but look at that, we get a lot of battery life. That's impressive. We've been going for a few minutes now, so that's cool. So definitely great batteries on them. What's up? But there you go, guys. That is Atops X Pack 3. This is a great little mini drone. Super fun, easy to fly. Remember, on Amazon, under 90 bucks, I believe. The link's in the description, as always. I would absolutely recommend going and getting one of these. They are super fun to fly, you guys. That's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, hit that subscribe and that notify button. Have fun. Stay safe out there, you guys. And remember, don't be a drone dummy.